Hey guys, welcome to another Clarity Chat where we eliminate confusion and help you grow your business. I'm Scott Evans from Gorilla360. We're an agency that helps you grow with smart digital marketing. Today we're gonna to talk about how to bring more customers into the category pages on your website. So if you're an e-commerce website, you'll have category pages, subcategory pages, sometimes sub-subcategory pages. Um, for an e-commerce store, these category pages are absolutely money. So um, product pages and homepage, they're really important too, but um, you know your category pages are like landing pages. They're really great at bringing more people into the website and helping organize your products, helping people navigate into the products that they want. They are your money pages. So what I wanna do is talk about how can we get more customers into those pages today. Um, so there's three quick wins that you can do here. Um, number one is page copy. This is number one for a reason. It's the hardest out of these three, um, but it's the one that most of you guys ignore or kind of put in the too hard basket. If I'm writing page copy for category pages on a website, I want to look at who am I competing with for a given keyword, and then I want to make sure that my cat, the copy on those category pages is better and I've got more of it than what the guys I'm competing with have. Pretty simple, hey, like do a search for a given keyword or a category name, have a look at who's ranking well for that and write more copy and, better, and make it better than the other guys. So more engaging, more interesting, tell a story, use keywords, all of that sort of stuff. Number two is using better headings. The H1 heading um, is the main heading on any web page. That's gonna be pretty locked down depending on the name of the page. So you don't wanna make that too spammy with too many keywords stuffed in there. Keep it simple, make it really user friendly. However, with your H2, that's an opportunity to kind of get some secondary keywords in there and also tell Google what the page is about in more detail. So make sure you're using some keywords or one or two keywords in the H2 heading and that'll often sit above your page copy. The third thing is your page titles. So this is a no-brainer. The page title is pretty much the strongest on-page element for SEO. Um, you want to make sure that your page titles are utilizing the right keywords. Uh, make sure you're targeting the most important keywords with your page titles um, and you'll see some good rankings impact from that. So one, two, three, get to it. Cheers.